Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Komal Kamal Shekhawat and I hope you all are keeping safe. I create videos on how to do econometric and data analysis. So in this video, I am going to explain how to convert a series in first difference or second difference. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, this is my work file. I have already imported my work file in eViews. So first of all, the difference of a time series is the transformation of the series to a new time series where the values are the differences between consecutive values. Okay, so suppose uh, there are some variables and suppose I want to obtain the first difference and second difference for this particular variable GD. Okay, so for that you need to click on this option generate and you can see over here in this new dialog box there is a box which contains enter equation. Okay, so here in this box you need to write down GDP and you can put a 1 if you are converting that particular variable in first difference, okay. So I am writing it as GDP1 in order to differentiate as the first difference of that particular series. So GDP1 is equal to, you need to write D for the difference and then in brackets write GDP, okay. So this means that this equation indicates that we are converting or obtaining the first difference of the series GDP, right? So once you have written this in this box, you need to click on OK. Alright, so you can see over here, a new variable has been generated as GDP1. So if you open this variable GDP, you can see the information for the entire time period is available, right? And if you double click GDP1, you can see the information of the variable GDP that is its first difference, right? So this means that this first value is the difference between the previous and the consecutive value, right? So this GDP1 indicates the first difference of the series GDP. Right now, if you want to obtain the second difference for this particular variable, again you need to click on this option generate. And in this equation box, you need to write so for differentiating the second difference, we can write it as GDP2. Right, so this particular new variable will be generated that will indicate the second difference of the variable GDP. Right. So the process is same. GDP2 is equal to, you need to write D for the difference and then in bracket write the name of the original variable GDP and then put a comma and write 2. This means that we are obtaining the second difference of the variable GDP, right? So once you have written this equation in the box, click OK. All right. So you can see over here, a new variable GDP2 has been generated. So if you double click this variable, you can see over here, this shows the entire values for this particular variable and its second difference, okay? So this is how you can obtain the first difference and second difference for a particular variable for your data analysis in eViews. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.